Yeah. It was kind of similar to the first half of Milwaukee game. We kind of started out slow. Um, we had a lot of penalties against us, which really set us back. Uh, a couple of yards back every single uh, time we got our offense, but we just kept fighting through uh, adverse, uh, diversity like we did against Milwaukee and um, just came out second half and just played for Park Coast football. Like I said, I have, like I said in the beginning of the season, I have the best receiving core in the state, so each player, they will show their stuff on the table each week, so if it's not Vinny this week, it'll be Mike. If it's not Mike this week, it'll be Marshawn. If it's not Marshawn, it'll be Andre or Tyrell or Hassan, so. speed was going to catch up to him, and it really caught up to him in the third quarter where our speed dictated the game. We, we knew we could stop him. At first we had confidence that we could stop him offensively, but that pick, we got that turnover, I think they built up our confidence of stopping their offense. Not too many teams with 30 seconds on the clock on their own three yard line say, let's go score. What does that just say about this group that coach is like, hey, let's get one more. I told my coach, I was like, coach, do not try to score the ball. There's 30 seconds left, we up 16, 15, let's go to half. Vincent, I think it was Vincent that made a big play. And then John heaved it to me. I, I got an end zone. It was a big momentum change, definitely. What I've noticed is when our offense keeps scoring, keeps scoring, and the defense is getting stops, the, other off, the opposing offense, I, they, I, it, to me, it seems like they just quit on themselves. That's the thing. I feel like Sandy quit on themselves. I think they could have stayed with us, but we just kept scoring, and it, it just got to their heads.